Wake up Wednesday. It's time to pray. Wake up Wednesday. Let's see what God has to say. Wake up Wednesday with Paul and Natalie. Wake up Wednesday. Well, welcome to Wake Up Wednesday with Paul in, according to Carter, Paul in L.A. Uh, yes, 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 thanks uh, thanks for being here. And thank you, Carter Seuss, for putting that little jingle together. Well uh, done, Carter. Yeah. Well done. So, great start. Now, listen, we're still looking for different options on, uh, on not that Carter's isn't good. Yes, yes. But, uh, but we're looking for some some involvement here. So far, Carter's running away with it. And, uh, and so we want to see some competition on a, a, a jingle yeah. to start off our Wednesday wake up calls. Yeah. So Allie, how are you feeling today? I'm actually feeling a little sad today. I'm sporting my uh, master swag. Yesterday we had our last chapel um, for the, the year actually. And uh, it's always an emotional chapel because we're sending off our grade, our grade fours. Sorry, <laughs> graduates. We're sending off our fourth years. They graduate. And then, um, you know, the award ceremonies and whatnot. Well, yesterday it was totally different because uh, we had our last chapel on YouTube. Shout out to Rich and to Alvin and Amelia and Ryan and Chris Chase and... I probably missed a few people that made that happen yesterday, but it was an amazing day. So I'm sad, kind of sad because I'm missing the students. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm missing my colleagues. Because that's where you work. Allie works yeah. at Master's College and Seminary for a couple of days a week. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 So how are you doing? Well, you know, speaking about missing, it's it'd be nice to see people, uh, you know, to be able to give you a, a fist pump or even a, an elbow bump, but we're not even allowed to do that these days. So, uh, so yeah, missing the people of Calvary Church yeah. more, more and more every day. But it is so cool that we can kind of connect with you in this way. Uh, we want to, Wednesdays are all about just trying to, you know, bring a word of encouragement to yeah. the congregation as we go through the journey. Uh, as we all get longer hair and uh, can't do anything with it and or or easy <laughs> <clears throat> so Ali uh, word yeah. of word of love word of encouragement for the congregation today yeah so just thinking about grace today actually as we've been reading through um, on you version and just um, looking at how Jesus interacted with people and the grace that he showed them during that and um you know a couple weeks ago abby i'm not sure if you can see this wrote grace is not seasonal and at the time i was kind of like oh that's interesting yeah you're right it isn't seasonal but i think it has even more meaning today as we look at how jesus showed grace to others and how we need to show grace to one another you know, this new norm isn't easy because it's um, disrupted many of our lives. You know, some of you guys, you're saying, well, it hasn't disrupted my life. I'm going to work every day. I just have more protocols. Others are at home. Others are at home alone. Others are at home with their kids, you know. And so I just am reminded again today of God's grace of how we need to display that grace to others. And maybe it's a message just for me with my kids, but I just am so reminded that great God's grace is so encompassing, mm. so encompassing. And um, yeah, we need, to, we need to have grace with one another, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, Allie has lots of grace with me. Yep. Anyways, yeah. And uh, ironically, uh, I have nothing to do with grace in terms of what I've been thinking about. Uh, although in some respects, I guess it is. Uh, the, even, again, this morning's reading for, um, for the Bible plan uh, talked about the, the parable of the sower and, and how some sowed on, you know, the rocky soil, some sowed. Anyways, that, that, whole, uh, that whole parable that Jesus shared that 
And that kind of stuck out to me again this morning as I was reading through it, because in the midst of us sowing seed, I've been reading all of these through the lens of what's going on. Okay. And, uh, and so what an awesome opportunity it is for us to be sowing seed right now. Yeah. And, uh, and, you know, Jesus goes on, there's a second parable after that, that he talks about where, uh, where the farmer goes into the field and he sows the seed into the field. And then somebody comes in, the enemy comes in behind him and sows weeds, seeds of weeds. And, and so all of a sudden now starts these, uh, these, um, plants good good wheat and the weeds growing up together and the workers are like ah what do we do and Jesus said listen although they look the same right now they will become mm -hmm. evident which is which is good and which is bad and I will sort out the the difference and uh, and I thought you know in a in a season like this we could easily get distracted we could easily find ourselves having seed cast into our life uh, that's of, uh, of the enemy. That's not good seed. And so we've got to be cautious and careful, uh, in amongst who we're listening to, mm -hmm. um, the voices that we're listening to. There are a whole host of people trying to say a whole host of things, but it may not necessarily be good. So just be cautious with, uh, with what you're listening to and, and what you're investing into your life. Mm -hmm. Um, because we want good, so good seed in, in mm -hmm. our life. So, so good. Yep, that's uh that's about what I I have. Yeah. Yeah. Good. One announcement, Good Friday service um mm -hmm. just before we wrap up. Good Friday service 2 days from today, 10 a.m. we're doing a Zoom call with uh with a number of other churches. There's four other churches that are joining us at Calvary uh for for our Good Friday service at 10 a.m. So, be there for that. Zoom in, uh get the link off the website. And um, now I just want to prep you. We will be having communion during that service. Mm. So you will need to bring your own bread or cracker or whatever it is. Maybe you stole some of the, the wafers from the church uh, the last time you were there. Make sure that you have those available on, uh, on Friday morning, as well as some sort of liquid water, if you so desire, or uh, or grape juice if you've been to the store and you got the you know the Paul Newman's or the Welch's grape juice whatever Welch's is where it's at Welch's that's the standard for yeah. Pentecostal PAOC churches yeah. yes Welch's so anyways uh bring that and get that ready because we will be having communion together virtually on uh, on Friday at 10 a.m. So I guess that wraps up our Wake Up Wednesday for this week it sure does any last words of uh, of love for the people um show grace show grace good call <laughs> all right well wake up wednesday it's time to pray we could do actions we got we got pray wake up wednesday oh i don't know where i'm going with this